holiday begins at the airport. Cheers! Just to get a smile on the face, make that holiday start nice and early. Hi. Not interrupting, am I? <laughs> Take <care>. This week... <laughs> Who's laughed on your tail? It's Easter at John Lennon. Cheers! One mum and daughter... I can't believe you're advertising the fact that I'm 40. What's it on? Plant a party hard in Amsterdam. Cheers! Two strictly best friends... Excuse me, please. Sorry, excuse us. ...are going for gold at a dance comp near Berlin. We need to beat them. That's our aim for the next yeah. competition. And a bunny-mad couple on the holiday of a lifetime... See what he's up to. ..seem more worried about who they're leaving behind. Eating his bananas, aren't you? <laughs> Whilst out on the airfield... Got one of these in my house. Landing light. Staff allow the runway... That would shake the fillings out of your teeth. ..to be used as a supercar test track. Welcome to Liverpool John Lennon. The Holiday Airport. Afternoon. John Lennon may not be the biggest airport in the UK, but with two bars, nine eateries, 13 shops, and even an express hair and nail salon, it sure knows how to get the party started. As passengers prepare for short-haul flights to Europe and beyond, staff like airport beautician Beth are on hand to send them off in style. Liverpool Airport is a holiday airport. We get hem parties, stag parties, we get families, we get groups of girls, we get groups of men. <laughs> the characters that we get in here, you just have you in stitches. It's Easter at the Holiday Airport. So, how do you eat yours? Just like... I put it in my mouth and I chew it. On the information desk, Mark and Alan are sizing up their treats. Do you put it in the fridge? It has to go in the fridge. This is my fridge. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was where the baby lived. Double loader. Top and bottom. As families and friends get together over the bank holiday weekend, staff are already in the party spirit. <laughs> and on the taster bar in Duty Free, newbie shop assistant Peter is serving it up to the passengers. I started in December and then I uh, just got through straight into the uh, wolf's pit and put on the bar. Watch out! It looks like poor Peter has a pack of wolves heading straight for him. Oh, hey, Judy Free! <laughs> Easter is a popular weekend for a particularly rowdy passenger group. In the coming days, hundreds of stag and hen do's will pass through departures. And they're all after one thing. 24, mate, may as well. <laughs> so what are we saying? Whiskies, vodkas, gins, I rum? That one looks oh, I'd like a whiskey for I'll go, I'll go whiskey for you. I'll just do all of it. 12-year-old whiskey for All whiskies. Peter's job is to tempt this rabble into buying a bottle or two. Yeah. Tell you what, that's well nice. Yeah. We have uh, one for the stag. Hey, yeah, whiskey. Well, come here now. Up, one for the stag. We're going to Poland to Krakow in uh, Poland. There you go, stag. It's the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you can have something else after it. Okay. 24 of us are going and it is debauch, that is it. That's all I can say about it. No rules. What happens in Poland stays in Poland. It's a game, what do you reckon? Yeah, we'll buy a bottle of that. You don't want to know what's under the uh, sock? Uh, no, I think we can guess. Do you want any chocolates? Have you got Cheers, mate. I've got chocolates. Oh, what oh, else you got? The scale. Oh. I'll distribute these out. We've got some oh. Bailey's ones there, you know, more yeah, ale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Pete. Cheers, have a good one. You, Enjoy. <gasps> he might not have sold a single item. Peter, crack on. But at least Peter seems to have tamed with his pack of party animals. The best bit about it is uh, getting the stag and hen group thing. <gasps> Just to get a smile on the face, make that holiday start nice and early, get, give them a good feeling, and then off they go. Enjoy all the rest of it and come back with a smile on the face as well. Right. Easter bunny time. Come on. It's not just the passengers who are getting their Easter treats. We'll start here this morning and work our way across the airport. Each year, airport oh. chaplain Nicky Lees delivers chocolate eggs to the 2,000 or so staff. 
at the end of doing this, I just don't want to see chocolate. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's wonderful. Keeps you on a good diet. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, your bless hand. you. Thanks. Thank you. you. That's, that's great. Thank you. Nikki's got such a hoard to hand out. There we are. That she's had to enlist the help of airport assistant Matthew. Something warm in here. Isn't it just? Thank you. There we are. Most major UK airports have a resident chaplain. For me. <laughs> As a Christian minister, Nikki has been Mother Hen at Liverpool for 12 years. Well, how's life? Fine. Not too bad, thank you. She looks after the welfare of all staff and passengers. Struggling as usual. Struggling as usual. <laughs> and if she gets her way... There we go. There we are. OK. Right. No one will be missing out on a great egg giveaway. If you are a practising Christian, well, it's Happy Easter. And if you're any other faith or none at all, well, it's spring, so smile. I've got eight pairs of boxes. Well, that's not enough, is it? 20 miles away in Manchester, one couple should be full of the joys of spring. I'll wash them. Where? Fashionista Jess. My Vegas dress. And her boyfriend of three years, Ian, are about to fly to Vegas via Dublin. They look silly in this. Yeah, it makes your ears stick out. Yeah, that doesn't look, doesn't look right. Right then. Don't need a hat. We met in Manchester. We were both students in uni. Oh, that's gross. No, look at that. It's like a giant false eyelash. It kept persevering. Did I? Yeah. Oh, did you tell me to go away? Yeah. Because huh. <laughs> I thought you were weird. That is a lot closer. Okay. Some of this is yours, Ian. That's yours, there. Jess and Ian are preparing for the holiday of a lifetime. Do you really need this? Well, I don't understand what the problem is. A two-week road trip up the west coast of America. Where can I put my stuff? Because you're in my suitcase. But Jess, who used to work as a fashion buyer, well, it looks like she's packing for two months. One of my biggest fears in life is being aware and not having the item of clothing that I want. I'm aiming to take ten pairs of sunglasses, but it may be more. And then I'll need to do a row of evening dresses. But there's one prized Very possession that, like it or not... Hello, love. We want to pack you, don't we, darling? Jess won't be taking with her. Last year, we bought our first pet, and he's a little house rabbit called Turtle. Oh, That's like no turtle I've ever seen. I always get a lot of questions on the name, but I knew. As soon as I was in that pet shop and I saw him, I just thought, that's Turtle, he's going to have to come home with me. Right, you ready? Do you want to go? Yep. With the flight departing in a few hours and a bunny sitter all booked in... I think. Come on, love. It's time for an emotional farewell. I love you, don't I? Little treat. Come on. It's only a rabbit, right? Everyone always says to me, what will you be like when you have a kid, how much you love Turtle, but I don't think it'll even compare. It's just so... It's just so cute. I love you so much. See you later. See you later. Be good bye. We'll leave the light on so we can see his carrot. I'll turn it off. I want to leave it on so we can see his carrot. If you turn it off, you can't see his carrot. He's a rabbit, he can see his carrot. <laughs> Coming up. He's nice! As more party animals make a beeline for the holiday airport. I can't wait to have a drink. It's a terrible mother. Staff put themselves in the path of the planes. Let's vacate, that plane's going to depart. To keep their passengers safe. You know what? Look the idea of these runway walks, we're going to take off. It's the Easter Bank holiday at John Lennon Airport. And in the coming days, 50,000 passengers will pass through these doors. As families and friends get together, the shops hope to cash in on the celebrations. But for Alan and Mark on the information desk... I hope to be 18 again. The Easter holidays are just a reminder of another year gone by. Still living at home with my mum, no bills. I can't even remember being 18. What was it like with no TV, no radio? I wasn't during the war, you know. <laughs> You're seriously going to get a smack today. 
Mark may be no spring chicken. Take care. Happy Easter. Bye. Bye. But over in departures, <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. We tend to dance around all the gondolas, don't we? Us. <laughs> Duty-free girls and best friends, Jill and Karen, are making sure passengers are getting into the bank holiday spirit. Would you like a chocolate, my love? Whether they like it... You're welcome. <laughs> I've yeah. little chips. Come on. Or not. Yeah, we'll cook along. <laughs> Me and Karen will celebrate at the drop of a hat. We'll put on an outfit for any occasion. If we can't have an occasion, we'll make our own up. And then and our the famous one is our scrap. <laughs> We're not giving them to put on. We actually volunteered <laughs> and bought them. Who's <laughs> 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 after me tail? <laughs> <laughs> No one is safe from Jill and Karen's chicken claws. We have some more, please. Least of all, new shop assistant Peter. He's got two chicks now, haven't you, love? Fresh out of college. He's only been working here a few months. You go on the other side. And he's already got these two hens cockfighting over him. <laughs> oh, she's robbed me off yet. Biggie and Bobby. It's part mine. <laughs> No we had some know. good dances with the passengers, even oh, if they yeah, didn't want to. We nearly, <laughs> we nearly cut one in half, didn't we? <laughs> she went that way, that way. <laughs> and, and he was in the middle. <laughs> you may go back now. You Thank back you for your services, Luke. sir. You're welcome. Enjoy the travel. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Peter. See ya. Just trying to come to work, but dancing. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion mad Jess and her boyfriend Ian are heading on a two-week American road trip. No, departures. Check in, check in. And while Ian's wow. been allowed half of one carry-on bag, the rest of the luggage is for Jess's 24 outfit changes, 17 <laughs> pairs of shoes and 10 sunglasses. I've got a blister already off that. <laughs> Not that Ian seems to mind. The manual lady. <laughs> Jess's a little princess. She's, um... She's very independent. She doesn't, she doesn't need me, but she, she keeps me around. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that oh, I'll have to take it out. I'm not paying. That, that's really nice, and it's kind that she'll do that for me, stay, stay with me. Um, oh, this is really heavy because it's fully sequined. She's always, always ends up getting what she wants. Straighteners, hand luggage. There we go, that'll be it. Thanks a lot. See you. Cheers, see ya. Ian may not be wearing the trousers. I'm just following you around like a lap dog. But he knows he's on to a winner with Jess. Ooh. Oh, there we there go. There we go, rocking and rolling on the massage chairs. They paid for half this holiday no, no, no. after she hit the jackpot at their local pub quiz. Right, three, two, one, go. go. And it just so happened that this one week, the jackpot had rolled over, rolled over, and the jackpot was £1,000. Ooh, the lights. I knew we were going to win that £1,000. Yeah, this is a really good one. I just had the positive vibes and just created the energy and created that, that outcome, and then it has to happen, so I just knew we were going to win and we won. Uh, so, what's the secret? It's just about putting your energy into something and then creating an outcome that then exists in the universe and can't not happen. Right. Sounds weird. You said it. But it works. <laughs> well done. This is it. I feel like I'm on holiday <laughs> now. Oh. Oh, that was good. Oh, it's brilliant, this, isn't it? Mm. Should we sell the sofa and get a couple of these? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> The most important asset of the holiday airport is, believe it or not, not the massage chairs. It's not even the shops, cafes or bars. Yep, that's right. It's the two-kilometre stretch of the tarmac out on the airfield. A safety officer, Andrew Hepworth, knows only too well. You've got no runway, you've got no planes, you've got no planes, you've got no passengers and we're out of a job. Along with engineering manager Dave Batt. He's got a point there, I suppose. A dedicated team of airport staff are going to scour the runway. It's really important that we maintain and look after it, really. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Last laid in 2007, at a cost of £22 million, 
The 100,000 square meters of tarmac have to be meticulously checked for wear and tear. We're checking from the runway shoulders, which are the outer extremes of the runway, and we're also checking the runway center line as well. If potholes are allowed to develop and loose debris isn't cleared, landing and departing planes could be put in serious danger. Basically, we're checking the whole paved area from one side to the other. But because of the frequency of the planes, getting on the runway is easier said than done. It's exciting that it's, it's not every day you walk down the runway. It's just it's not exciting waiting around. Finally, there's a gap between flights. Time for this crack team to get their heads down. Got one of these in my house, landing light. But it looks like not everyone's taking it so seriously. Do you know what? The, the idea of these runway walks, we're going to take off. No. <laughs> we're actually looking for Ruth's fiver she lost last time. <laughs> She's that tight. If they find a defect, it's reported to the maintenance crew. There's just that and that there. Because that's starting to break. And there's a highly technical way of measuring the holes. So he's just put his radio down there just to get an idea of size, because obviously we know how big the radio is. That was just a... Just a what? It just was half a radio. A third of a radio. Yeah, a yeah. third of a radio. Halfway down the runway, a dangerous build-up of rubber could make for slippery landings. Now, this is what they call the touchdown zone. Yeah, this is the, the area that takes the most hammer from an aircraft, so we're, uh, we're just looking at this area a bit more closely. With an aircraft on the approach, there's no time to mess about. Still not found your fiver. Unless your name is Dave Bass, that is. Mm. That's a little bit of the runway that we've just found. It's Ruth's Christmas present. There we go. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> All ready to go? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I hope you are, cos uh, we can't come back uh, and get anything if you've forgotten it. No. <laughs> I don't think you're getting anything else in there. No. <laughs> 100 miles away in Blackpool, door to Coral... Go on, Coral, get it in. Any shot before. <laughs> ..is treating her fun-loving mum, Louise... Definitely say I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> ..to a three-day break in Amsterdam to celebrate Louise's 40th birthday. I booked the flight for £100 and then the next day I won uh, the £100 back on a scratch card for £2, so the flight is only £2. £2? That's less than my bus fare home. Good start to the, the holiday already. Right. <laughs> These two good time girls work as housekeepers for a hotel chain and they're inseparable. It's like my best friend. Yeah, we get on really well. Yeah. Like I say, we're more like um, friends than uh, mother and daughter. We often so... get confused for sisters as yeah. well, don't we? <laughs> I'm going to say she's my mum. They're like, really? She looks too young to be your mum. <laughs> Some days. <laughs> it doesn't take me too long to pack. Obviously, I don't need to bother about hair products and stuff like that and hairbrushes. <laughs> I got alopecia when I was 12. It was a summer holidays going into year eight and I was just sat on the couch one night, weren't I? I was like, oh, mum, what's that on the back of my head? She's like, it's a, a, a bald it? patch. Yeah. And I started laughing. <laughs> It just it can happen to anybody, it just, it just fell out. Yeah. Yeah. It no doesn't make me ill or anything, no, just, I've just got no hair. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it easy for getting up in the morning. <laughs> that is my most important bit of my, uh, my packing today, my eyebrow pencil and mascara. <laughs> oh. Get down. <laughs> this is the only problem I have with the dog <laughs> getting in the way. Bye, Gunner. Oh, bye. <laughs> right. Hi. Hi. Not interrupting, am I? No, no. Good, no. good. The Easter Bunny run. Here we Chaplain go. Nicky is halfway through handing out chocolate eggs to each of the airport's 2,000 odd staff. <laughs> All right. Hi, Linda. Here we go. She might be the airport's good Samaritan. But she can still give king of puns. Mine's <laughs> extra big. Engineering manager Dave Bat. A run for his money. I'm being extravagant. Hey! <laughs> Not good. Right? Just yoking. <laughs> she's, off. she's off now. Right? That's my job. I'll leave you to it, guys. <laughs> See you soon. Hi, Colin. 
This is extra special, this one. The problem with Dave is... I was going to put my shell suit on today, but... He just doesn't know when he's beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Dead excited, but... I can't wait, you know. An hour from the airport, Mum Louise has been whisked off on a 40th birthday weekend. Yeah, first time in Amsterdam together, so uh, I'm sure we'll uh, be painting the town red. <laughs> but it looks like daughter Coral will be the more responsible adult. Can't wait to have a drink. <laughs> it's terrible, Mother. My mum, she likes to have a good laugh. Every time, though, every time I go out, I'm never home for, like, before six o'clock. <laughs> To put it quite bluntly, she's a bit of a nutter. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe I've made it till I'm 40. <laughs> Cheers! Coming up. She's gonna finish it before <laughs> we be go. Wasted me. As the celebrations get underway at the holiday airport. We've just had a few too many, I think. Bunny Mummy Jess can't face her flight. See what he's up to. Without a final furry farewell. Darling, you having some breakfast? Passenger announcement for the passenger dog. Now, the pilot assistance travelling to Jersey. Please make yourself known to a member of staff at gate two. Your tiny voice is limp. What's that mean? It's very limp. It's very, you know, oh, go if you want to. You sound like a Dalek. I do not sound like a Dalek. You do? I do not. Get on this plane or we will exterminate you. Hey, yeah. Oh, fabulous. Got your Prosecco. Here we go. And a cocktail glass. And a cocktail glass. Fashion <laughs> Mad Jess is making sure she looks tip top for her flight to Vegas via Dublin. Cheers. Mighty big pint as well. <laughs> She'll be road tripping up to LA with her very own private butler, her boyfriend Ian. You've got the most brushes ever. <laughs> Ian might be sidelined from the holiday chit chat at the hairdressers. Um, just over two weeks, but we've got like three weeks off work, so. But it only reminds rabbit crazy Jess just who she's leaving behind. Yeah, we've got um, a little pet, a little pet bunny at home. Oh. It's called Turtle. Oh. Yeah, I'm missing loads. We've never been away from him for longer than like two days, so. Oh. But this bunny mummy. Fabulous. I feel like a new leaf. Has made sure she has a direct line to her precious turtle. This is a good place for oh, actually. Fabulous. Thanks to a smartphone. See what he's up to. And the goodwill of their bunny sitter. Hello. <laughs> the airport can play host to one last emotional farewell. Hello, darling. You having some breakfast? Oh. I think he's more interested in the banana. He's enjoying that banana. He loves the banana. It's definitely opened our eyes what it'd be like to have a baby because turtles so needy. Eating his bananas, aren't you? <laughs> Look having at your it. bananas. It's weird having someone that you're responsible for. You can't just mm. finish work and go, oh, let's just go straight out, let's go and have a meal. It's like, no, we need to go back and feed the turtle. Don't worry, have an amazing time. See you later. Right, see, see you later. Bye. 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 Who'd have thought the playing dad to a rabbit yeah. with Baggy yeah. and his bunny girl? Oh, let's get going. Let's go! Ian's best quality is that he's really kind-hearted, he's very, very thoughtful. So the gate's closing in two <laughs> minutes, she went to and use of course, the toilet. me and Ian are miles away. Yeah. And he's a great dad to our little bunny turtle. Boarding. Boarding. Is that our plane? Back of the queue, boarding. On a <laughs> Jess is the one. Yeah. <laughs> we've uh, we've been, been together for three years now, and. and I haven't been happier. Time for these two happy bunnies yes. to hop off on holiday. <laughs> Hello there, would you like a sweet? Oh, there. Ah, you're welcome. Hello there, would you like a chick? A chick? I was going to say, would you like a chicken? You're all right, do you need any help? Just asked him, would you like a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Spring, Spring chickens have handed out their body weight in chocolate. But another brood of hens go for the red one. are more interested in sampling what Peter has to offer. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Where's the bride to be? Come on, Come on, Ben. 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 Come on,
We're going to Barcelona on my hendo. We all time one of these? Yeah. Yeah, and that's enough. <laughs> A little drip. It was actually a surprise, so I didn't know where I was going. Um, and obviously, as you can see, I wasn't aware of the outfit either. Have another one. I wonder if Peter will manage to make a sale this time. There we go. <laughs> Is it the raspberry one, that? Yeah, I can still taste it. Thanks. It's awful. Come on, then. Have a nice flight. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. See ya. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Passports. Oh, yeah, I've got them. <laughs> right, let's go. Best friends Gary and Paula are at the start of their journey to Berlin. What did you do to my car? Nothing. People don't believe that actually we're not a real couple. Yeah. Where are we? Yeah. We've been labelled twins, twins and brothers and sisters. I wonder what it's going to be like. But we're not. Honestly, we're not. No. They may not be a couple, but they've known each other for 15 years. And they are partners on the dance floor. Don't forget to lean oh, yeah. out. Good. Gary and Paula started dancing five years ago. I saw a course offered about learning to do ballroom and Latin dancing. And we both like the likes of Strictly. We just went along for fun, yeah. just to see what it was like. What started as a hobby has resulted in the pair representing Great Britain in the Paralympic sport of wheelchair dancing. Can you run over your foot, though? Not quite. <laughs> We're 14th in the world. 14th in the world, world. and 10th in Europe. At their next competition in Berlin, they're hoping to move up the rankings, and they reckon they have a secret weapon. You know that you must be doing something right when people don't believe that actually we're not a real couple. Yeah. I think if you really want chemistry, it's got to exist off yeah. the floor as well as on the floor. And it does come across, and I think hopefully the judges can see that yeah. as well. But they are not a couple, okay? Good. That was better. Yeah. God almighty, that was a hassle, wasn't it? <laughs> Daughter Coral has managed to lead her wayward mum through security. So something suspicious is going on. <laughs> and over at the bar, she's arranged Louise a little surprise. Oh, God, a nice table to sit at. With all your nice, all your food. Before I see you I was on 40. <laughs> it look it, really. <laughs> I can't believe you're advertising the fact that I'm 40. Yes, I am. <laughs> Everybody has to know you're 40. <laughs> Coral also wants the holiday to mark a fresh start after what's been a difficult year for her mum. I lost my nan in May last year, and um, I also split with my partner in October that I'd been with for 15 years. Despite her party lifestyle, Louise, now a single mum of four, has always looked out for her kids. When I lost my hair, my mum was really, really helpful then because my mum was always there to stick up for me if anybody was being horrible or, I don't know, she was always there to give me a hug if I was upset, always. That's what mum's for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Happy birthday, mother. Thank you. I'm far from perfect, but um, I do try. I really do try to be a good mum. Okay. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> My kids always come first, and uh, I always come second best, so I say it's nice that uh, one of my children is actually treating me and taking me away. She's going to finish it before <laughs> we be go. wasted, me. You've dragged nearly the whole bottle, Mummy. <laughs> wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> There's no point being negative, is there? I mean, if you've got a roof over your head and you've got food in your cupboards, what more can you ask for? I mean, that's more important than anything, I think. <laughs> Yeah, gate 30. Where's that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a clue. These two good time girls have come this far together. Straight on. Now, maybe. they just yeah. need to get What's to then? the gate. We have been through a lot over the years, and I think maybe that's what makes you the person you are. You can't live and be miserable. No, and... you can't dwell in the past, no, Stevie. You've just got to see what tomorrow brings. That's it, yeah, so. <laughs> We're boarding already. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> that went well quick. <laughs> I think the uh, drink helped me. <laughs> Pass the time away a bit quicker. Shh, don't tell everybody you've been drinking. <laughs> Pick yourself up, dust yourself off and carry on. 
That's uh, what life's all about. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be a good uh, few days, I think, isn't it? <laughs> I can't wait. Have fun, girls. Don't do anything I wouldn't. JC903, runway 27, clear to land, service between 250 degrees, 14 knots. Over 100 aircraft land and take off every day from the two kilometre long runway at Liverpool Airport. Making a touch and go for runway 27 via golf, land up and wait runway 27 behind. Staff in the control tower and out on the airfield don't just have to coordinate the movements of large planes, helicopters. Light aircraft and private jets all vie for their time on the tarmac. But today, there's another speed machine waiting in the wings. It's not too bad. Not too, not bad. too bad. Airport fire officer Simon Lyons. Better than my diesel. <laughs> and watch commander John Howard. Yeah, I'm glad they don't have to pay the insurance on it. <laughs> are helping a local car maker test the latest generation of their supercar. Not that John's too impressed. To me, totally impractical. It just... Th those days have gone. I, I like the comfort now. That would, in my opinion, would shake the fillings out of your teeth. And apart from that, at my age, I'd probably have trouble getting in and out of it. <laughs> they can't test this 170-mile-an-hour prototype on the roads, so they've struck a deal with the airport. Tower for Fire Alpha. John and Simon's challenge is to liaise with staff both in the tower and on the ground to turn the busy aeroplane taxiway into a temporary test track. Would you be able to let us know about any uh, windows we've got? Ten minute window. Thank you. It's a live airfield. So as you can see, there's helicopters taking off as we speak. And then when we get that window opportunity, we'll uh, Treat it like brands hatch for a bit. Finding a gap between flights is taking some careful choreography. Yeah, that's great, that's great. I'll pass that on to the test crew. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Get them up by kilo. Get everyone by kilo. I'll just, just brief the fire crews now. Yeah. We've got five minutes of departing aircraft, and then we've got a window of probably about 15 where we can carry out a couple of runs. All being well, okay, Kilo. Now. We're going to move out now. To, Get everyone to, to Kilo, the entrance, please. We'll make a start. Waiting on the final all clear, Simon and John lead the convoy to the taxiway. A fire engine and crew wait at either end of the temporary track in case of emergency. Uh, copy that tower. We've got all the vehicles in position now at the uh, mouth of Kilo, ready for the departing aircraft. Roger, I'll call you in two minutes. A lot of fuss for one little car. Let's hope it's all been worth it. Oh, I can dance, mate. I can. Coming up. Yeah. Oh, that like 50 year old dad dancing. As the celebrations continue for our holiday makers. I was a mess for three days. <laughs> it was definitely the holiday of a lifetime. And Team GB take on the rest of the world. Another hot set of wheels finally burned some rubber on the taxiway. Could you do a Strictly? Oh, yeah, easy. I'd do it at the drop of a hat. Would you? Yeah. I easy. couldn't imagine you on a Strictly doing uh, there'd, there'd all be your, no lifting. Your there'd be no lifting. No top off. <laughs> Not until at least week eight, when I've lost about six stone. <laughs> Just need to drop off our stuff, off stuff, find out where we take the wheelchair. And um, then go through security. Strictly best friends Gary and Paula are about to fly to Berlin for a dance competition. Yeah. We're going to get a final call in a minute. Passengers Jones and Moulton requiring assistance travelling <laughs> to Berlin on EasyJet service, EZY 7223. Can I have a show, please? I don't to remember <laughs> staff for gate number eight. I think it's the first time we've had a call. <laughs> Their flight doesn't depart for an hour, but Paula has been asked to arrive early to the gate. We need to squeeze through. Excuse us, please. Excuse me, please. I've been using a chair since very early 20s. I've got an, a faulty immune system. Thank you. Excuse me, please. Sorry, excuse us. 
I can get really bad infections really quickly. Sorry, can we squeeze through? Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Unfortunately, one of the bugs that I got was something called MRSA. They're calling for us. Excuse us, please. Basically, put me in the position that I needed to use a chair. Excuse me, please. Thanks. Wheelchair users take a different route onto the planes at Liverpool Airport, helped by special assistants like Barry. Coming through. Hey, that's one by voice. But in spite of the difficulties she's faced, Paula hasn't let her disability hold her back. So what are you doing? You living over or are you visiting or? Uh, we're going to compete for Team GB. We have our jackets. In. Yes. Now Gary and Paula are ready to move up the rankings. We have our checklist, you yeah. know, countries. <laughs> yeah, we want to beat them or we need to beat them. That's our aim for the next yeah. competition. All right, that's us to go, madam. Brilliant. Team GB might be ready to take on the world. We'll see you in Rheinsberg on the other side. <laughs> but it looks like they have some competition closer to home. Oh, I can dance, mate. I can. Mine, oh, that like <laughs> 50 year old dad dancing. Pay for it with the knees, though. So what does Barry think of their chances of winning in Germany? It's Great Britain, isn't it? We did last time we were there. <laughs> Back out on the runway, Simon and John are waiting for one last jet to clear. I want to help that. Uh, Tomahawk's airborne now. Are you happy to commence uh, with the testing? BAC Mono, you're loud and clear, you're OK to carry on with the test. OK to carry on with the test. Copy that. Liverpool, John Lennon is about to turn from Top Gun... ..to Top Gear. With 280 brake horsepower, the back Mono is a road-legal supercar. It costs over 100 grand and can go from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Superstar DJ Deadmau5 and football manager Andreas Villas-Boas famously owned them. But John's not so fussed. I'm sorry, not my thing. <laughs> One, you can't get a suitcase in it, so it can't go away. And if you said it was a babe magnet, you, wouldn't have <laughs> you can't get a passenger. No, it's totally <laughs> impractical. See, that just shows the age I've got to now. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> No, we still won't go back. No, it's not fair. I'm so sad to be back home. It's not fair. Over in Arrivals, birthday girl Louise doesn't think she's over the hill. She's back from her 40th in Amsterdam with daughter Coral. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. We definitely celebrated as well, didn't we? Had yeah, a good time. I highly recommend it. Just the experience, it was just amazing. It's so different to England. We did spend a lot of money in the coffee shops. Yes, we did. A, <laughs> a lot. lot. <laughs> On coffee, and food, coffee. food and other things. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Coral gave her mum a birthday to remember. I was a mess for three days. <laughs> or maybe not. I need to go again. <laughs> so I can remember it properly next time. <laughs> A thousand miles away near Berlin, best friends Gary and Paula have progressed through the rounds and are about to compete for a place in the World Wheelchair Dance Semi Finals. It's anticipation, it's nerves. And I want to see six couples on the floor. But then you get out on the dance floor and it's like. Couples number four, five, seven. That's it. 14 and 15. Are you ready? Four, five, seven. And it's focus. 14. And do the job at hand. Once you're on the floor, music starts and just dance. Team GB are ranked 14th in the world. But they're up against some hot competition. But for Paula, dancing is more than just about winning. Feel free when I'm dancing. That's the fundamental thing for me. 
It's great. It's just this release. I love it. They've done enough to make it to the next round. One, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen. No. Never no, mind. We've, we've enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. We didn't quite make the semi final, which would have been our ultimate goal. But we did our utmost best. We did our country proud, um, and we had a great time. Yeah. And here's to the next competition. Yeah. I'm Back in Liverpool, Bunny Mad Jess and Ian are home from their epic American road trip. We went to Las Vegas first, then we got the car, drove down to Disneyland, and then ended by driving up to LA. We knew when we went that it was going to be like a once in a lifetime, amazing, mind blowing trip, and it definitely was, wasn't it? Yeah. Whilst they drove from Vegas via Disneyland to LA, patient bunny sitters arranged daily video calls with their beloved turtle. In the last few days, I kind of felt, I'm ready to go home, I really want to see him, I miss him. But even that wasn't good enough for this demanding bunny mummy. All the flight, I was thinking, I wonder if they bring him, I wonder if they bring him in the Disney. As a surprise? Yeah. He doesn't like travelling, though. He'd have been fine. He's all right in the car. They could have brought him. Yeah. Where's my sweetheart? Mummy, Daddy at home. 